What is up everyone? Welcome back to the video. The topic of today's video is Bitcoin, is cryptocurrencies, the coin market cap, and uh, Trump. We have a bunch of really good articles. This first article is mainly about Trump. As you see, Decrypt, a really good article, really um, credible site. Uh, right here, Trump wants the Secret Service to tackle the Bitcoin problem. Trump has proposed a budget that would see the crypto uh, Secret Service working to stamp out cryptocurrency crime. Uh, Trump's $4.8 billion budget for the 2021 fiscal year aims to relocate the Secret Service to the Treasury Department in part to help fight against cryptocurrency crime. As you see right here, Bitcoin is doing extremely well. Uh, who else can return 20 to 50% in one month uh, steadily, uh, pretty consistently, and pretty re reassurably? Uh, the, the report states that technological advancements in recent decades, such as cryptocurrencies and the increasing um, inter, uh, interconnectedness of the international financial marketplace, have resulted in more complex criminal organizations and revealed stronger links between financial and electronic crimes and the facing of terrorists against rogue states of courts, guys, uh, actors. Yep, <laughs> reports 99% of Bitcoin transactions don't go to the dark net. Again, mostly all of them do not go to the dark net. According to new 2020 research, uh, the total uh, frequency on tr of transactions, the cryptocurrency transactions he heading to the dark net service has fallen by more than 90% since 2015. So most people, 99.9% .9 do not send their crypto uh, transactions to the dark net. As you see right here, Trump, uh, Trump actually tweeted, uh, I am not a fan of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which are not money. And uh, whose value is highly volatile and based on thin air, unregulated crypto assets uh, can facilitate unlawful behavior, including drug trade and other illegal activities. Again, guys, Trump is like 20, 75 years old and he really it doesn't really know really what's, what's up with Bitcoin. He doesn't know the power. He doesn't know cryptocurrency. He doesn't know decentralization. It doesn't know unregulatory. He doesn't know um, having a scarcity supply. And basically, all this is very new to an old man. And obviously, guys, Bitcoin is like nothing that anybody has ever seen before. The younger generation gets it because we grew up on computers and the internet and just stuff like that. Uh, decentralization, all this. But Trump has not. Uh, uh, this reshuffle has uh, market return for form for Secret Service. The agency was first established within the Treasury Bank in 1865 and tasked with preventing the thin, widespread uh, counterfeiting of U.S. currency. So again, guys, this was created for uh, counterfeiting and uh, obviously illegal activities. And he's just rebalancing and sh uh, focusing the shape and the focus of it onto cryptocurrency and Bitcoin specifically. Now with the emerge of a specialized route to criminal financial, the proposal aims to be bring the service back to its roots, guys. So again, Trump, uh, he really is trying to target and attack Bitcoin, especially the crimes with cryptocurrency online. Uh, he himself does not believe in it. As you see, the second article, Coin Telegraph, Bitcoin price has set 8,000, 8.2K floor. Like I said in my last video, if you didn't see it, 8,000 will never see under eight grand ever again. And right here, 100K coming before 2022. I always said, by the end of 2021, I think Bitcoin will hit all-time highs at least, if not 25 minimum, 50K probably, and maybe even 100K. Give it two years, guys. Always zoom out. Look at the yearly. Look at the decade. Look at every five, ten years. Don't look at it every week, every month. Look at the year to year for the last 20 years, two decades, and just unprecedented growth. And maybe give it two years. I think we can see all-time high, if not 25, if not 50K. Bitcoin happening trend, guys. Every single time there's a happening, it almost 10 times is 0.1 to 1, 1 to 10, 10 to 20, guys. It's literally like gonna happen all the time. See, uh, right here, 10 to a dollar to 10 to 100 to a thousand to 10,000. It always goes up by 10. This is what I meant. Bitcoin always 10 X's every time there's a happening. And in four years, where else can you see that kind of return, steady, consistent growth? All investing is really just uh, based on past trends and past experience and past history. So if, if you just take that, it is it is risky, it is a gamble. But you know, this is this is very similar to the dot com era, and yeah, that ended eventually. But a lot of people became millionaires. <laughs> a lot of people that bought Bitcoin at a dollar, at ten dollars, a hundred dollars, really made millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Bitcoin having impact can be lag. Basically, guys, Bitcoin is definitely hitting all time high by the end of 2020, if not beginning of 2021. And then after we break all time high, there is no limit. Blue skies break out. It could easily hit 100 grand, very possible. As we see, CCN, uh, Bitcoin price soars uh, as Jerome Powell confirms crypto's threat to US dollar. Uh, the price of Bitcoin jumped on Tuesday after Jerome Powell uh, stressed that the Fed is investing a significant amount into digital currency development. Investing a significant amount into digital cryptocurrency development is the future, guys. It is a new wave. Money always upgrades. It always changes. Um, adding fuel to the fire, Powell also acknowledged how quick crypto could become a systematic risk to the USD. 100% agree. When once more and more people uh, get... Uh, in, in, uh, 
I definitely agree. Once more and more people in the mass adoption start to understand what cryptocurrency is, once they start to learn about it and use it and hodl it, guys, there's going to be, especially with the whole uh, scarcity and the whole like amount of uh, available Bitcoin to the public, once that goes down and more people want it, it be, again, less uh, is basic economics, less supply, more demand, as more people know about it, will definitely increase the price by crazy, a tremendous amount. And uh, China's uh, Belt and Road Initiative in, is expected to roll out the digital cryptocurrency very soon. And the Fed char uh, was clear the U.S. was doing its best to keep its pace. So again, China is making their own cryptocurrency. Uh, as we see this here, Bitcoin set 2020 highs as analyst I am moved towards 12,000 next. $15,000, that's the next, uh, actually resistance, next goal. After facing a couple days of bearish price action, Bitcoin's bulls have come out in full force, propelling the cryptocurrency back above the key 10,000 price region. Again, 9,000 is now the uh, the support we have to hold. Um, if not, you know, it, it can go under 10, that's okay, but we have to hold 9. Hopefully, we'll never see under 8, we'll never see 79 or under below ever again. Bitcoin's race past 10K is explosive bull momentum as the bulls trend continues. And if we look at this guy, this is a beautiful chart, beautiful, literally it's an ascending triangle we have a bunch of support we just got to make this now this resistance a support we got to consolidate consolidate break higher again then we go through this resistance Cons okay we go up consolidate consolidate and then bam this resistance again so on and so forth we make the uh the previous and the forehead um resistance we make it support and then bam again we break through all-time highs uh btc's open interest may point out some underlying weakness nope no way <laughs> i'm just kidding there is risk right there is weakness you could lose a lot of money again it is all speculative but again high risk high reward and then guys the coin market cap i see everything is doing amazing ethereum i've been talking about ethereum for months now ethereum oh, oh, literally double more than double percent of bitcoin watch my videos ethereum every single thing i th talk about is crazy look at bitcoin sv i talk about bitcoin sv at 300 bam you're welcome look at litecoin i said buy at 70 77 50 look at uh look at cardano doing 10 percent. i mean if you look at monero always a good thing is about Monero. look at uh look at um ethereum classic look at Chainlink. who said Chainlink? i said chain link five dollars it's almost at four dollars Look at Dash, guys. I literally just been talking about both of these. If you're not familiar with the channel, guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Minimum one video every single day. My goal on average is two videos a day. But again, if I'm busy, like I have been lately, I will post at least minimum one video. But my goal on average is to post two videos a day. That's what I aim to do. Uh, check out my recent uploads. Also, check out my cryptocurrency videos playlist. Thank you guys so much for the views, the support, the likes, the positive comments. Peace.